I think we're all really appreciative so. of, of, of how much <laughs> the fans like have come out for these movies. I mean, uh, we've had so much fan support that uh, we, we just keep, we're making these movies for them. We hope that they can continue enjoying them. Um, the other interesting thing about this series is that, you know, it's a different, a different director on each movie. Do you guys find that in between having a different director and also the opportunity to play a character again, do you find that between yourself and the director that you think, oh God, and this time I'm gonna do this different thing with my character, or I wish I would have done this in New Moon, so I wanna bring that into Eclipse. I mean, is, what, what does it bring to it? I'm just so happy to get another shot at it, because I think this has been a really hard thing as an actor. I don't know, if mm -hmm. we, you guys, we haven't really talked about this, but I, I, it's really hard to be believable to, to myself even, so th to find a way to, to make being a vampire and, and ground her and, and believe in her and care about her and care about these people. So I'm always excited to get another shot at it. And the fact that we're getting these real filmmakers to come in and make these movies is incredible. And I don't, I, it's such an opportunity that you know, I, I might not have ever had. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> As a doctor, I concur. <laughs> Well, I think it's interesting things very specific to the Cullen family is I think, you know, in the old days, family was very important and a family was really, you had to be related by blood. Mm -hmm. And nowadays in the modern world with travel and airplanes and whatever, that to some extent you choose your family mm -hmm. of who those loved ones are. And in some ways, Carlisle has done that for various reasons. He's chosen. Yeah. I think that that's really interesting uh, why he chose these specific people. And I, and it, Why'd so, you choose me? <laughs> well, you were lying in the gutter and I thought, <laughs> and you were pretty. <laughs> 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 no, uh, but it's true, like, wh why he chose these people is, you know, it, it's like forming this band, you know what I mean? Like, you want to, this, this group of people that he, he handpicked to be his family, and that, that means a lot to him. I, uh, I, I think I struggle as Carlisle in, in that. You know, I, in some ways I feel like I gave them a gift, and in other ways I feel like that wasn't my gift to give. And so I know that some of the uh, characters struggle with that, that they didn't have a choice in it. You know, Rosalie didn't have a choice, and Edward's not quite happy because he didn't have a choice. So I struggle with that guilt as Carlisle, that did, did I do the right thing? But I think, you know, fathers, as a patriarch, they make decisions, and sometimes they struggle with, uh, I, I tried to m do the right thing, and, and was it right? I'm not quite sure. She's just been giving you a hard time lately, and I mean, you've, yeah, and you're in making the last couple of interviews, Papa, I've been giving you a really Papa hard Cohen time. No, yeah. no, but it's true. But there's as, something, as to Carla, something to be said about that. That you know, as as perfect as as these characters seem to be, there's there's flaws. Each one of them has these character flaws, and and if I had to say what my character flaws is, you know, he he did handpick these characters, but he did it on you know against their will, not against their will, but without giving them the choice. So. That's something that he has to struggle with. Yeah, and that's a really interesting word he just used was perfect, and that's how Rosalie is described a lot of the time, which is very intimidating in itself. But um, she's so far from that, and everybody, including these like perfect fictional characters, have imperfections, mm -hmm. and it's nice that those are exposed and um, and that you get to see a different side of them. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm out of time. The last thing I have they is... They can't kick you out of the chair. I know, but I don't want you guys to be here till 6.30 because then you'll be mad at me. Um, <laughs> there is, you know, the ever-importance of the Best Buys of the world yeah. and all that for, like, the home video market. Yeah, Best oh. Buy. Oh. Um, <laughs> we are doing, like, a screening for the Best Buy Reward Zone fans. Mm -hmm. Do I get a gift card? Huh? Sure. Just yeah, completely. <laughs> I want to call do, it. do we get free iPads? Is, that's what I want. Well, the, we are getting free iPads for my um, stun and opening iPad. day. Have you heard about you know what no. we were talking about earlier? Can the I get iPad an iPad? Is the I, gift. I already signed my deal. I, I'll, I will streak <laughs> naked down the street for an iPad. They're seven hundred fifty dollars. We can really get a lot more out of it. You know, we're streaky with you. I can sell. I can sell well, tickets and. Um, Peter and I um, will streak, and I'm sure we can get Elizabeth to do it too. What is what that? Would you so like you see, you see the type part of that. No, the, I can't see Hi everyone, we'd like to welcome you to this special screening of the Twilight Saga Eclipse for Award Zone Program Premier Silver Members. Is that what you want me to say? Yes. Yeah. Like the second one? Can he say it all? Yeah, yeah if premier, you guys are cool with that. So, no, I don't want to say it all. Maybe we'll all take Here, break well, it Here, we'll all take pieces. a little... Hi everyone, we'd like to welcome to you, uh, you to this special. I can't see. Can, we, can you cut above this so it I'll doesn't say look this last line. line. Okay. I get an iPad too. Hi, everyone. <laughs> TJ needs a few cast members on camera guys. saying hello to the Best Buy Reward Zone fans. So first off, we'll say uh, one, two, three, we'll say hi, Best Buy Reward.